Hello there everyone. I hope you're having a lovely week. It is getting colder here in London. The winds are changing and the animals are topping their stores. Amongst all this autumn beauty, there has also been a lot of turmoil and pain in the world recently, and it's left me feeling a heavy heart. In this video, I wanted to share some things that helped me to navigate a time of distress, in case you may also find them helpful too. I hope that together today we can share a moment of peace, take in some nature and cultivate some hope. In our world nowadays, where the news and media are everywhere around us, it is so easy to be pulled into all the negativity and sadness that is in our world right now. And when I feel myself being engulfed and overwhelmed by this reality, that is when I step out into nature. When I go out into nature, take a deep breath and open my eyes, I can again see all the beauty of this world and everything that I can be grateful for. Everything that is sacred, true and pure, these things remind me of what should be remembered and valued and it takes me away from my phone and the media and brings me into a different reality. The trees, the animals, the sky, the sun. Nature shows me how much wonder and beauty there is to be grateful for. It also constantly reminds me that everything is built from love and that we are all one. I have found so much healing in nature recently and it is the place where I always find hope and where I have found my spirituality. I deeply believe in nature's ability to heal and also to show us that no matter what, life must go on. I have taken on this lesson from nature and I know that no matter what happens, I will also be okay. I often find that when I'm overwhelmed mentally, it is really helpful for me to do something physical or with my hands. I often turn to calming activities and hobbies that are both interesting to me, as well as bring me a sense of peace and allow me for at least just a short time to take my mind of what is troubling me. Today, I'm crafting soap bars, which is something I've wanted to do for a while now and haven't had time for with my normally very busy schedule. I love crafting with nature and incorporating aspects of nature into my daily life as well as my hobbies, which is why I'm so fascinated and interested in herbalism. Working with nature helps me to feel connected to the earth and aligned within myself. And so I seek out activities that help me to feel that connection and sense of peace and mindfulness. I encourage you to also find what this can be for you. Maybe it's sewing, painting, cooking, or even dancing. Finding something that can be calming or meditative can bring so much value to our very busy and sometimes stressful moments nowadays and the ability to calm one's mind is so crucial for overall health. Another thing that really helps me in times of stress or worry is finding small ways to look after myself like cooking very simple but nourishing food. 
Lately, I've found soups to be a very easy and comforting food to make. I just use what vegetables I have available at home and add lots of herbs and spices. Sometimes it's the simple things that can be the best. Evenings are a very special time for me, where I try to distance myself from my phone, news or social media. I try to limit electric lighting and instead use more soft light, and I've recently been lighting candles a lot more. I find it really helps to connect my mind and body with the season. On these kind of days, I take a bit more time for self-care and skincare, and I find that this also helps me to sleep better. I love to use a soft rosehip oil on my face and my own lavender infused oil on my hands. Another thing that's really been helping me is to absorb myself into folklore and fairy tales before bed. It takes me into a realm of magic and wonder, and this always changes my outlook. And finally, I try to focus on getting a good night's sleep. I hope that some of these ideas may help to also comfort you in times of pain or worry. They are certainly things that always greatly help me and bring a lot of peace. I also always try to remember that there is lots of love and courage in our world and lots of people doing good things. It just depends on where you look. Thank you dear friends so much for watching today and if you are new here I would love to have you subscribe and to see you in my next video. I'm wishing you a wonderful day or night. Hello everyone, I hope that you're having a lovely day so far and I hope that you're having a great week. Um, it's been a while since I've been here in front of the camera and just talking um, to you all like this. Um, so I thought that today would be um, a good day to come back and to just um, say hello again and have a little chat with all of you since I um, really missed doing this um, and really missed just honestly communicating with all of you. 
Um, and that's been for a number of reasons that um, I've been away because mostly my school started um, in September and um, there's been a, so much to do, so many things to catch up on. Um, the new school term is always so busy with my students, so many exciting things and um, all these kind of different <laughs> things to do when you're running your own business. So it's, um, it's been really, really busy, um, honestly, really busy. And I've just been trying to keep up with everything. Um, and obviously, of course, filming um, these videos, which are just, I want to say, they are a highlight <laughs> of my week. Um, filming these YouTube videos, they are such they are one of my favorite times of my week now when I get to film these videos um, and share um, crafts and different things with you all. Um, and uh, it's interesting because it's something I um, never imagined myself doing um, previously in the past. And um, certainly I didn't think that when I first started that um, I would enjoy um, sharing with you all so much. But um, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love um, filming content and sharing um, nature and crafts and um, just different things and passions um, with all of you. Um, but yes, so um, this week, as you may have seen in my video, this week has been a very difficult one for me. It's been really, really, really hard. Um, as some of you, as all of you know, um, the things that are happening in our world right now are, have been incredibly um, scary and worrying um, for a long time now. Um, but what is happening currently um, in the Middle East um, is has been really hard um, for me to take in um, this past week. Um, I am going to be very careful about what I say and how I um, share this right now on YouTube because I really don't want um, the algorithm to hate me. <laughs> um, so I am going to be incredibly careful with the words that I use and probably try not to use certain words. Um, but you all know what I'm talking about in this current scenario. Um, I'm talking about the current Middle Eastern crisis that's happening right now. Um, and it's been incredibly um, worrying for me, distressing for me. Um, mainly because I, um, as you guys, as most of you probably who watch my videos by now will know that I have a Jewish background um, and I do have relatives right now in Israel. Um, I have some family in Israel. Um, my grandparents who uh, were from Ukraine and um, they moved to Israel many, many years ago, um, to the land they considered to be um, the land that they want to spend the rest of their days on, the land that they um, love, essentially. Um, and yes, yeah, so I currently have family there. I have friends there. Um, but yes, uh, as some of you might not know, I had part of my ballet career, my professional dancing career. I spent actually some of it in Israel. Um, it was um, a job that I got and I performed there with a ballet company for many years. I lived there um, for a few years and um, I, yeah, I have myself actually experienced um, whilst living there, which was many years ago now, I have experienced um, myself what it feels like to uh, hear the sirens and to um, experience what it sounds like um, when things are happening. 
going off, shall we say. Um, I don't want to use certain words <laughs> in case. Um, yeah, um, so basically I have had first um, experience of, first-hand experience of what that feels like as those things also happened once, on twi once or twice while I was there. Um, and it is scary to say the very least. <laughs> um, I am just oh, so sad and very distressed as to what is going on there right now. Um, I, am, I am sad for everybody. <laughs> um, I am sad for everybody who's involved, um, all the families, all the children and people who have suffered and are currently suffering due to all of this uh, on both sides, on both sides. Um, and I am currently, um, I am very worried and I am just um, praying, I am just trying to pray essentially for peace, for peace for everybody. Um, and that is all I can do right now. And just obviously praying for my friends, my family, <laughs> members of my extended family who are there, um, and friends that I know um, who are still living there. And yes, it's been a very distressing time for me this week, um, to say the least. Um, I've been finding it very hard to um, focus on um, things here in my life and just find myself constantly um, checking up on the news and checking up on my relatives and just making sure I'm aware what's going on um, whilst also trying to continue on with my life. <laughs> and it's been very hard, um, it's been very hard. Um, and so this, this week I, I, I wanted to make this video, um, I hope it wasn't um, a sad video in any way, um, I do not mean it to be sad, I instead want it to be something to, um, these are ways that what I find most helpful in situations where I'm really distressed but um, can still take control of my um, current situation and when I can these are the things that I go to um, which I find really help me. Um, so um, I wanted to share them with all of you. Some, some of these things may be perhaps quite obvious um, and um, maybe you guys you know are doing that already but I just wanted to share some ideas of things that personally help me um, and that I find truly valuable to come back to um, in times of great stress <laughs> in my life. Um, and there has been many different times like this in my life, um, various levels of <laughs> stress or concern, and these things always help me. So I just wanted to share a video on it in case um, anyone needs it, I guess. Um, and of course, of course, I want to say that um, if any of you currently have anyone you know um, in that area of the world um, on either side um, that is currently suffering, I, I am truly praying and hoping um, for everyone out there. And um, I am sorry very very sorry if any of you guys also have anyone who you are worried about um, and I think that all we can do is um, right now is just pray pray for peace um, which is what I'm trying to do um, but yes uh, I don't want to go too much on about this because it is already very very sad and distressing but I wanted to just share um, why I'm making this video and um, kind of the my personal feelings towards this. Again I don't want to share too much because due to YouTube right now being very very sensitive with the kind of content that and the kind of words you can say nowadays and words that you cannot say um, you have to be very very careful so um, but I wanted to share my personal 
feelings and just to yeah to share that yeah this week has just been really really hard <laughs> and um not my usual kind of vibe that i want to put out but i guess this is life and um i think that i i really um i really wanted to share it since it was so close to my heart um so so close to my heart um this particular situation and that i've been finding it very hard this week um and i'm not going to lie about that um and i'm trying to do things that just bring me a bit of calm and just yeah lots of herbal teas <laughs> and just trying to get some sleep which has also been hard to do recently um and just trying to look after myself in the best in the most simplest ways i guess in the most basic ways but sometimes they can be the best ways i find and i think that um we can always find hope and for me um nature is what truly gives me that um that is why i uh accented um um put a emphasis on this in this video that nature is something that i have in the last couple of years uh since covid especially it is something that has really um opened me up so much and um helped me quite honestly to find my um peace of mind and my spirituality throughout this whole time um since covid um i have found a lot of peace and spirituality of my own in my own way um through nature and through connecting with nature and um it has brought such a sense of as i said in many videos it has helped me so much to cultivate um a sense of slowness and peace and magic moments into my life so yeah that is a kind of short or maybe a bit of a long <laughs> um winded update on um kind of life right now um so i just wanted to talk to you guys um just face to face and update you on what's kind of been happening um but other than that um i hope that you are all well i wish you all well and i want to also thank you all so so very much for everybody here for all of your support and all of your beautiful beautiful comments um even though sometimes i physically don't get time to reply to them i am going to try my best because i know there is um quite a few people who i haven't replied to yet and um i really want to apologize for that because it's been so so busy and hectic here recently but i'm going to try and get on top of all all of your comments and questions um make sure i get to them all um but i really really want to thank you all guys because it means so much to me to be able to share the space um for you to share the space here with me for me to be able to share with you and um share everything that is so important to me and um i feel like i'm talking to um you know to all of you as friends and um it's really felt like that recently and i really really appreciate i appreciate all of you and all of your um wonderful um just support and mental support that uh you always give me and i'm truly grateful to have all of you here so um i want to thank you so much and I hope that I will see you very soon in my next video and in the meantime um peace and love to all bye guys <laughs>